Got your girl got a job today. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm stressed is over. I don't know when I start next week sometime, but I got the job. Nonetheless, they will be contacting me with the rest. I got to do a background check because I work in banking a little bit. This is my C going backwards. That's how long. <laughs> That's how far back I have to go. That's how close up I have to be. That's how short I am. Let's watch. I'll stop where I normally stop. Still going. <laughs> Still going. That's good. Right there. <laughs> well, I'm about to drive off again. Get your shit together. I'm so excited. I was nervous about this interview because I really wanted this job. It's one really good money. It's a Canadian company. It's not American company. I'm over America. I love it. Like, as in, I don't want to leave my country, but, like, I'm kind of over corporate America. So, I'm going to try corporate Canada. <laughs> See how that goes. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I'm going to be doing what, I, what I'm good at. Inspecting things. I am an inspector. I am an inspector gadget. Slash Wednesday. <laughs> This dress is really um, cute. I like it, but I feel like Wednesday Adams today. <laughs> I noticed that all I've been wearing lately is black, but I think it's because I'm like doing so, like my back fat is going away. My front fat, lingering, just lingering there. I'm like, go away. But then again, because I've been so stressed out, I had hot dogs this week. I've had pizza. <laughs> I haven't worked out since I left this job. I was working 10 hour shifts, like moving 24 seven. And for a week now, I've just kind of been like me eating shit. So I wonder why it's not going anywhere. I probably gained weight this week, but it's like the point of weight loss where my legs are slimmed out, my butt slimmed out, my back slimming out, my arms are slimming out, my face is slimming out, my boobies are slimming out, my belly still got that, you know, slightly pregnant bump. I don't like it. It harshes my mellow on every outfit I have. It looks cute and then you, the speed bump, I call it. The speed bump ruins it. How many sit-ups? How many? Uh, give me a number, spirit. Over it. Never having a baby in there again. This is bullshit. One, I didn't even get to keep my baby. They straight took it not to be sad but like could you imagine like most of women go through it and they're like let me not waste gas they're like oh you know i have a i just had a baby so you know i have i'm chubby it'll go away and you're so caught up doing baby stuff that you lose the weight because you're doing baby stuff but when you lose your baby you just sit there and cry and eat they did that for a year i sat there and i cried and i stuff my face and I gained so much weight and it's like haunting me I can't get rid of it like I'm healthy I'm happy I'm doing great but this all this food that I put in my body when I was sad it won't come off <laughs> I want my body back <sighs> I'm one year from 40 how long do you have to have babies is it 40 I just read in the news that a 50-year-old gave birth. So I guess, like, as long as you get your thing, you can still have babies, right? I don't want to be that old. But I don't like, I'm cutting it off at, like, 43, okay? Because I feel like 40 is the new 30. <laughs> so if in the next three years I meet a nice man and I might want to have his baby, I will try one last time. But that man better fucking be worth this goddamn speed bump that won't come off. <laughs> you know, when I had my stillbirth the first time, I was 10 years younger than I am now. So, came right off. Have a baby in your 30s. It's not fun. It's not fun. <laughs> Have your babies young. If you really, if you really want to get technical, you pop them fuckers out before your 29th birthday. So your vaggie goes right back together and your body does the same thing. You get them out. Pop them out like candy. Pop, 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 pop. Done. 29. <laughs>
If I could do it again, I would have done it like that. <laughs> not that I can control which ones, you know, make it or not. I'm, I just feel like it was the person. I'm blaming it on the person. The person was pure evil, so my body was like, I reject this Satan seed. Bam! Earth angel cannot give birth to a Satan baby. <laughs> and maybe, I mean, they looked like innocent angels, but maybe they would have grown up to be like them. And they maybe they're good people now. I don't know. I have not talked to these people in two years. But when I left, they were fucking horrible human beings. I can only hope that they went up from there. That's all I hope for the world. Like, just don't hurt the people after me like you hurt me. Learn from me, at least. You know, if I, can, I can't do anything about what happened to me, but don't be a dick to the next one. That's all I care about. Like, they never changed, though. I'm not saying these people are like, <laughs> saying in general, when I, when I do run into people, and I'm like, oh, I hope they're not still an asshole. They're still an asshole. Like, every time. I have zero faith in these people. I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm a realist. When your soul is black, you know. They don't really let the light in. <laughs> I don't know why they, that person ever got with me. Like, you are a Satan person. Like, you knew from day one what house I rolled with. Not that I was, like, a preachy person. But you just hang out with me for five seconds. I say something about spirit. I don't say God, I say spirit, because I am all inclusive with religions. Don't make it an, a point in every conversation. But when you know, I'm attempting to date someone, I sneak it in there. So it's not like, surprise, I believe in God, and you're a Satanist. <laughs> this person pretended to be um, somebody that just didn't believe in anything. And I was like, well, I'm not really a converter. I never bought into that. I'm not going to be like, I'm going to try to morph your brain into agreeing with what my brain says. I, I could accept the fact that he just didn't know what he wanted to believe in. And that was fine. I did not know he was doing wonky tonky evil darkies in the night. All that juju hoodoo. I don't play into that stuff with spells. And you sold your soul, bro. A long ass time ago before I even entered the picture. I feel like I was just a, t a chew toy for evil for 15 years. <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? Like, that's what I realized the whole thing. Like, it, they were sadists. And I'm sitting there the whole time like, what did I do? Why is everybody mad at me? And they, it's because I was in the light. It's because I glue. With, like, anybody not, not being conceited but like when anybody doesn't matter what faith you are in when you become one with yourself and your faith you you come into a peace so you're happier in life because you take it on faith so I was just like a happy person and when you're a Satanist playing in the dark life is miserable and misery and they can't stand anything happy so that's what I mean when I was a true toy like they took pleasure in my pain so I was amusement probably and they were energy vampires as in they I was always drained I never had energy I didn't laugh I didn't smile my skin looked older like everything about myself shrunk and because they were doing creepy shit like taking my hair like doing creepy ass shit like <laughs> I, I don't understand in myself how I didn't see, like, the altars and all this juju that, that completely... Why do I find people that have double lives? Like, this is my, a serious fear of mine. <laughs> the next person I date, I'm going to be like, do you have a double life? Can you just tell me now because I can't take it anymore. C had a double life. Teddy had a double life. Steve had a double life. I'm fucking done, bro. I ain't never had no double life. I'm just alive. Just one life. <laughs> it's enough. Ugh, I can't. And double life, I mean, like, whole other relationships. Kids. 
No idea. Different state. That was C. Almost married him. I was engaged. He had multiple kids from multiple women in multiple states, and I had no idea. Box you up. Then, Teddy. I, I love you. No, I don't. I'm, I want you, and no, I don't. It's just fucking mind games. And then made it made me feel like I'm the reason why everything went down. But the double life with him was he didn't tell me his feelings and then blamed me for it. <laughs> You can't love someone for years and not say one word, not show an ounce of it, and then hate them for not knowing it. That's why <laughs> we never went anywhere. You couldn't get over the fact. I didn't know. You didn't say shit. You didn't show nothing. I was engaged to your best friend. Why would I think that? You know, Jesus. Ugh, men are difficult. So Teddy isn't exactly... I mean, he knew about seeing, he didn't tell me about the cheating, and he was supposed to be my best friend, and he didn't say shit, he was gonna let me marry that man. That ain't no real best friend, I'm sorry. If that was my fucking best friend, I would've, the first time I saw that motherfucker on someone else, or with a kid, uh, what the fuck? You're going home and you're gonna tell her, or I am. I'm gonna, no. This is not fucking right. You're not going to railroad this person that I care about. I don't care if you care about the other person. You would also do this. Like if I did that to C, I 100% guarantee Teddy would have said something to C. But he didn't say anything to me. That's a double fucking standard. So he's in that box. No, I'm mad at him for that. Like I know they're all dead and I shouldn't be mad. But it's like, motherfucker, you weren't loyal. You... Call me unloyal because I didn't want to go in back into the whole soldier thing. That was unloyal for my own sanity. <sighs> I can't with men. <laughs> but I can't be a lesbian either. I just, I, girls are catty. Not all of them, just the ones around here. And I just, even my friends who are gay can't stand being gay. <laughs> They're like, why do I like women? They're so difficult. Ah, they drive me crazy. They can never make up their mind. They just yell at me all the fucking time. Nothing's right. I'm like, why do I want that? No. <laughs> no, and there's lots of reasons why I couldn't be gay. I'm not trying to make light of your situation. I'm just being silly. I grew up around gay people. If I was gay, it, that ship would have already sailed. It would have already sailed. I would have tried it. I, I attempted to try it, and I was just like, I don't know. I don't like it. It just doesn't, it feels weird. I don't like it. <laughs> so, you know, you never know till you try, and I did. So, I know. Do you know? Did you try? Not that you should just go out and try. What the fuck conversation is this right now? <laughs> I'm just excited. Anyway, it's a rainy-ass, shitty-ass day. I was going to go out and do some readings. I have all my stuff in the back seat to do some readings after this interview. <laughs> so I'm going to go home and do some more kids books and eat some food. I hope you all have a great day. I'm in a really good mood. My stress has just been lifted because even if I start next week, I'm definitely going to have enough money for all my bills and rent because that's like, even if they hold your check for two weeks, that's two weeks paycheck. It's going to be tight, but I'll live. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll live. <sighs> and then November, I'll be right on track. And Christmas time, I don't have anyone to buy for except my little nieces and nephew. I only buy for my, my parents and my nieces and nephew. So even the older ones. I try to get them something. So my oldest nephew, my oldest niece or nephew is 21. 22. I think he turned 22. Sorry, Jake. I'm old. I don't remember. <laughs> I just know you're old enough to drink now. <laughs> I stopped counting after that because then I just feel worse about myself. Like, you can drink now. You fucking changed your pants. I was there the day you were born. Like, what the fuck? All you motherfuckers. Both you little sisters. Your nephew. All you motherfuckers. I'm old as dart. <laughs> But they, I still like it, but they think I'm the youngest one. 
If you stand me with my siblings they and you ask them to line us up by age, I will be at the end of that fucking line smiling like that fucking chest iron cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Motherfuckers, I love you. We all look young. I'm not being boastful, but I'm not, it's starting to fade, so I gotta stop bragging because I'm getting like crowds <laughs> and laugh lines. I, I'm 40. I mean, I'm not. I'm 39, but I'm just going to say 40 so that when next year when it comes, I don't cry. I don't want to talk about that. I just sweated a little. <laughs> That's my sweat, like like the rain dripping down. Like, oh, 40. Why? I think it's because I feel like a failure for not being a mom. Psychologically speaking, it's like you wasted your life. You didn't do the one thing you wanted to do, which is be a mom. But I am a mom. That's what my psychologist keeps saying. Like, why do you keep saying that? You are a mom. You had children. You are a mom. You did accomplish children. You just didn't live. They died. You're still a mother. Give yourself permission to say you're a mother. But I don't because I don't have kids. Like, I didn't even get one day with my kid. So how could I call myself a mother? Yes, I raised other people's kids and helped them, but that's not the same thing. Like I want, I want to do, I want to do what I did for other people's kids for my own. <laughs> that is what I subconsciously feel a mother is. So, FYI, if you've had miscarriages, I guess it's common for us to not feel right about calling ourselves mothers, but we are. We had babies. We carried them. We went through it too. Why Why can't we call ourselves that? So instead, I just say I'm a grieving mother. It's blunt. They don't ask questions. <laughs> I'm a grieving mother. I'm still a mother, but they're gone. That makes sense, right? You don't even have, you don't have to go in any further. But, oh, people back up. And I just hate that because I'm my age, people assume I'm married and have babies. And then that makes me feel like shit. When they're like, oh, you, you don't, you're n you never been married and you don't have babies? I'm like, no. They're like, oh. Like, immediate look of what's wrong with you then. I hate that. <laughs> like, sometimes I feel like it's my subconscious. But most of the, sorry, I had a pop-up. Most of the time, like, genuine is, like, surprise that a woman could get to the age of 40 and never been married. Not so much the kid thing, because they're having kids later, but to ne to be 40 and never been married. I know tons of people that never married and they're, like, 60. <laughs> like, why is this a thing? Why do you make me feel like shit? Like, why do I have to be married? I have not met I almost married somebody, but even then I dragged it out. I never felt right because I wasn't listening to my instincts.